Hey guys, so it's been a while since you've seen this face popping up in your feed. Um, been a bit busy. Currently washing my face, so I figured I would film and chat at the same time. Um, um, so yeah, I'm now like back at work. Um, I work three days a week and I've got the Avon going on the side, which is really fun. It just takes up a lot of time. Um, I'm getting back into the blog, kind of. There's posts gone up, but they're not really like my my work. They're like collaborative posts. Um, I'm using the Lancome um, Jelly Claw stuff. Um, I'm working my way through all of my back stocks of skincare and stuff. Um, so yeah, I got back on Twitter last night. I did some Instagram yesterday. You've probably seen it. If not, my my links are always usually in the info box. If there's anything I I manage to get in there, it's always my links to social media. I think I have them saved to be like automatically put up with my videos. So yeah, I've got one kid sleeping, one kid running around like a maniac. Um, Mr. Man is sleeping because he does the during the week stuff, so this is his lazy lion day. Um, and yeah, so we're, we're supposed to be going out today. We might be going to see Santa for the first time with Luna. We'll, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I was talking about maybe coming back and doing videos. Not really sure what sort of content I'm going to be making. Oh my dear lord, what is wrong with her now? So if she wakes him up, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> oh, not really, but like internally I'm going to be raging. We're going through that phase where I, I don't understand children. <laughs> she asked for Papa Pig. I put Papa Pig on. And now I get this. And this fucking open. I did as asked. She wanted it. It's on. Me no no, but um, as is life. Um, so I'm just using the Botanics All Bright Toner, trying to get the sky finished off. I've got like four balls of four, five, six, six, six balls of toner open at the moment that I need to just get finished off. Um, I've got a load of like skincare and stuff finished off. Um. <sighs> Well, skincare to finish off, I should say. I've got empties of the that I need to film. Everything's just sitting in a bag, waiting to be filmed. I've just, it's, it's, it's become like autopilot to just put it in the bag, even though I haven't been filming in so long. Um, this is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Don't particularly think much of it. I mean, it's all right. I have it, I'm gonna use it. I probably will not buy it again. Um, but yeah, I haven't really been watching a whole lot of YouTube videos either and when I have actually had a moment to go on and have a look, I get overwhelmed by the amount of videos in my feed and by the time I actually scroll through and find something I want to watch, I don't have time to watch it because I've spent so long scrolling through trying to find something to watch and a lot of the stuff that's in my feed I don't, I have no interest in, I have absolutely no interest in it, um, like there's, like I still enjoy watching Project Pan videos and stuff, um, but there's so many people that do like, like, like calling out brands for this, that and the other thing videos and it's just like social justice -y and it's all, it's all getting too much, like, yeah, it's a, uh, it's valid issues, I'm not gonna def refute that, it's all valid issues and stuff, but does everybody need to do it all the time? And uh, I, use e I use YouTube for like entertainment purposes. There's so much already in the world that is constant, like everything, everything now is politicised. Like, you can't even advertise pretty knickers for Christmas without someone getting offended. 
Like, I would like some pretty knickers for Christmas. I like wearing pretty knickers for my man. But, you know, sexism, right? Um, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, when I log on to YouTube and everything is a political issue and just trying to scroll through it to find something that's actually worthwhile watching that isn't going to be, like, a whole long slog... But the only thing I've really managed to like maybe watch are like the haul videos that Tara Babies puts out every Saturday or Sunday and sometimes watching Angelica's wish list videos on a Sunday. Cause I know they are always good. She's always they're they're both always really nice and sweet and they're always upbeat and it it's just it makes me happy. Um but yeah, I just haven't had the time for watching all sorts of other things and um I was watching no I don't watch the whole video <laughs> I'm gonna say that I watched I came up the other day it was from Emily from Concealer and Coffee I hadn't seen a video from her in so long and I just opened my feed and there was her face I was like oh I'm watching that um like I said I didn't watch all of it I watched a few minutes here and there um but I got the gist of it Sorry, my eye cream was the Neutrogena Hydro Hydro Boost. Um, I pretty much completely ran out of eye cream and had to pick this up. Um, so my day cream at the moment is the a new Platinum from Avon. Giving this a try, had a lot of customers ask me about it, and I got it on a special price for demo. So. It's, 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 so far it's a really nice cream. It's like really thick, but really like, it's like really intensely hydrating but without being like cloggy and thick, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I watched Emily's video and I got the basic gist of it. Like the Project Panic community is sort of reaching a point of burnout and people are still following into like a binge purge cycle. Like, um, you pan a lot of things and then you buy a lot of things and then you purge some things and then you pan some things and then you buy a lot more things and then it's just an endless swirling cycle and I feel like I sometimes get caught in that same sort of spiral I, I will have to watch the whole video again I'll probably do that this evening when I get some time because this is like the first weekend in so long that I haven't had somewhere to be someone coming around or something major important to do. So I'm actually going to be able to catch up on some watching videos, editing and all kinds of stuff this weekend. It's going to be awesome. Um, but I find myself getting caught up in that sort of spiral as well. Like, I will I will do a purge. Like, I've recently done a purge. I still need to go through my lipsticks, as I keep saying. And I still need to edit and upload those videos. But since doing it, when I have bought a lot more stuff. Um, but when I've noticed that when I go through this cycle of buying, purging, buying, purging with intermittent panning in between, I buy less. Like, I'm not binge purchasing as much as I would. Like, I might binge purchase, like I've been purchased for my birthday, but since then I haven't really bought a whole lot. Does that make sense? Like, I bought some stuff when we first moved here. I bought some stuff around Christmas, I think, and I bought some stuff around March and around my birthday, and that's been about it. And um, just the the whole want to buy thing just isn't there. I don't have the drive to purchase. In fact, I've been on several times I've been looking through the new in section on like House of Fraser, Space 10K, Dabinum's, Boots even and oh my god the Boots website it changed its interface earlier this year and just whatever I can't be doing with it and you know their car like you can only add I think it's you can only add a certain amount of items to the cart before it cuts you off. So if you're wanting to do a massive purchase, you can't. I don't know if they've, if they've fixed that, but last time I tried to order, I think it was more than 30 items. It was like, no, you ain't doing that. Should I find some makeup? I don't know. Um, 
You know what? I think I will. I'm gonna go grab my makeup basket and because I still I still keep my makeup in a basket. I just don't change it out very often. I need to make some space up here for it though. Cause this oof, guys up here is a bomb site. It's a bomb site. Uh, cats keep jumping up. Well, my one cat specifically keeps jumping up here and knocking stuff over. Or when um, the kids are getting bathed, Nick will pick up something he says he's doing it carefully and he's not actually. He knocks everything over, but he's doing it so carefully. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're not. It's like, just oh, rage inducing. Rage inducing. Um, but yeah, so I will go get my basket and be right back. Like I was saying, I haven't really been changing out the makeup in here. I've just been kind of just adding stuff and adding stuff and adding more stuff and adding more stuff. Um, it's actually kind of at the point where I can't actually find things in here without spilling it. So we're, we're going to have to fix that soon. So um, still working on this hourglass ambient primer i think it might actually have gone bad possibly i don't know we'll try it today and see um um so yeah just i'm not gonna do a whole lot with my face today i probably won't even do eyeshadow i haven't really been doing eyeshadow a whole lot because I haven't really had time um like with the kids and stuff it's basically um I get like five ten minutes to do my face um but if anything like holds me up it's like this give me a no makeup day and that's just the end of it so yeah uh, so I'm using the Lancome Tintadol Ultra Foundation because I just want to. Um, I need to wash my brushes and wash all my sponges. I haven't washed them in a while, like a shocking length of time. <laughs> I just haven't been using them. So please don't judge me. <laughs> don't judge me too harshly. Um, But yeah, if you guys let me know what you would like to see on my channel, that would probably be an awesome help. Um, do you guys want to still see like inventory updates? Are you still interested in project planning? Um, because like I said, I, I haven't worn a whole lot of makeup lately, so my project plans I had started earlier in the year have not gone very well. <laughs> But that's not to say I can't try again. I like I like setting myself a challenge even if I fail. If you don't have a goal to uh, if you don't have a goal to aim to then you kind of just aimless are you? Um oh, recommend me people to watch by the way. Recommend me some some new people to watch. Um because I still watch like um Names are just flying out of my head here. Um, I keep wanting to say Beauty Mama. Amber F. I still watch Amber F. I love watching Amber F. Um, I will watch her videos when they pop up. Um, as much of them as I can, I will. Um, I've been watching Hannah. No. Is it? Oh. Is it Hannah Poston or is her Hannah her middle name? I say post him, but I've been I've been discovering lately it's actually post him, but still in my head I can't stop saying post him. But I know you guys know who I'm talking about. Hannah Louise post post him. Yes. Um I I discovered her channel back in like May or something and I binge watched all of her stuff from earlier in the year and I've just been watching her stuff as a as and when I can. And just her whole like no by year thing. It's just it's like a rejuvenation of the whole um pink so foxy thing. Um, I think her name was Christine, possibly. I can't remember. But back in 2013, you know, we had we had makeout, we had gloss out 2010, we had polish out 20. 
11. We had something else in 2012, I can't remember. And then we had Make Out, or is it Make Out 2012 and then Make Out 2013? Um, but yeah, she started that whole movement originally. Um, and Hannah's just sort of brought it back with a year long um, repurchase only, no buy thing. And it's an interesting concept. And I feel like I'm in the position or like in the place of my life where I can attempt that sort of thing now. Just like need certain parameters. Um, so we might be doing that next year, we'll see. Oh, I love this brush. This is the Morphe, I know, plug in Morphe, uh, the M4 set, M457 brush. Um, a lot of people rave about the M44 brush. This is like twice the length of the M44. And I just feel it's like, so much better it's so much better for buffing especially if you have like a big face and um, admittedly my face isn't as big as it used to be I've lost quite a bit of weight um since I last did videos just but going back to work the weight and doing a bond running up and down blooming stairs um the weight's just kind of dropped off um there's a lot of high rises near me we're talking like 18 floors and what I tend to do if I'm canvassing them is I go get the lift up to the top and then go around the cent go down the central stairs so uh what's 18 times two we're talking something like because there's, there's not necessarily two flights of stairs for each floor so we are talking something like 36 38 flights of stairs No, like, yeah, like 36 size stairs-ish. Over 30, anyway. Because some of them have basement levels, so sometimes it's more. Um, but yeah, that's been lots of fun and, you know, helped me look, lose weight and get back into my pre-pre-pregnancy clothing. And, um, for example, this blouse I'm wearing, I actually bought about this time two years ago in a Black Friday event after I was losing weight from having Luna. Um, and now it's starting to fit and actually kind of be a bit loose too, which is awesome. Sorry, this video is like all over the place. What Lulu? A toy. A toy. Pardon? A toy. A toy. I'm using the beautiful eyebrow from number seven. I still haven't used this up yet, but you know, not using makeup very often, that will tend to happen. I really need to pluck my eyebrows. Every time I start making videos again, I'm like, I really need to pluck my eyebrows. Like, bitch, just get your eyebrows plucked for fuck's sake. Uh, try and think of other important tea, important like updates to share with you guys I don't know can't really think of anything nothing nothing too big's happened um no can't think of a thing <laughs> basically all my my life has been work Avon children cleaning house uh not really much else I've got um trying to avoid politics where possible um yes i know politics are important but they don't need to affect every aspect of everyday life you know like all that nonsense where man-sized tissues like jesus get over your bloody self so now we're not gonna have the the I, I can't remember how that debacle 
ended, <laughs> whether they're getting rid of man-sized tissues in general or if they're just renaming them. But like, doesn't does no one realize that men generally have bigger noses and when they're ill generally produce copious amounts more of snot and therefore need bigger tissues. <clears throat> Yeah. I don't I don't understand why it needed to be a fucking thing. Ugh. I've gotten into several heated arguments with people over nonsense and just ugh. sometimes people just need to shut their faces. They really do. Um <laughs> gonna pop on a bit of warm soul i haven't used warm soul in so long i'm just using it because it was sitting there staring at me please please use me and now i instantly regret using it right now um in the viewfinder it looks i'm a bit out of practice with makeup and my face shape has changed slightly so I'm like piling on makeup for when I had like a big puffy post-pregnancy face and now I don't have a big puffy post-pregnancy face so it's like jeez bitch you need to tone it down you need to tone it down oh. but yeah by the time we go out this should have toned itself down. I'll probably wait till then to put on mascara because otherwise it'll be all pounder eyed underneath. Um, but yeah, I'll just leave it at that for now. Um, I think I've covered all my major updates. Um, I think we're all good. I'm gonna go see if I can get some blog posts drafted, go do some washing. And then hopefully, um, maybe do a bit of Instagramming, um, catch up with other people's Instagram feeds. Because last night I went through my Instagram feed and I unfollowed like so many brands because that was legit all that was was filling up my feed was brands. So many goddamn brands. Gosh, my hair looks so... I think I've said this before, but I really hate having dark hair because like when it gets all glossy it doesn't look glossy it looks like a grease pit it does it looks like a grease pit because it's so long and heavy it's like flat on my head which just makes it look even more like a grease pit but yeah I've, I've um i followed unfollowed a bunch of brands and that cleaned up my feed a bit and then i was still scrolling through and going who the fuck's this who is this Who's this person? And unfollowing loads more people. And I still haven't gotten to see the people that I want to see in my Instagram feed, which is rather annoying. But anyways, the wee man's awake, so I will leave this here. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments anything that you want to see with, from me. If you still want to see inventory and collection video and maybe project pans in the future or whatnot. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.